Hi everyone, in this video, I will introduce the options Greek delta, which represents the directional risk component of an option. I will give an intuitive explanation of its value, and we will see how it evolves when the stock price or the time to maturity change. It is the first partial derivative of the value of the option P with respect to the price of the underlying asset S. It measures the directional risk of an option and can be used by traders to hedge the risk related to a change of the underlying asset. The delta of a put option is negative. The price of a put decreases when the underlying asset price increases. Its value is from minus 1 or minus 100 depending on the option convention when it is deep in the money to 0 when it is strongly out of the money. The delta of a call option is positive. The price of a call increases when the underlying asset price goes up. Its value is from 0 when it is deeply out of the money to plus 1 or plus 100 depending on the convention when it is strongly in the money. When it is close to expire, the delta of an at the money option is close to 50%. It has close to 50% probability to be equal to 1 if the option is exercised and close to 50% probability to be equal to 0 if it is not. If we assume that a stock is not paying any dividend and we consider European call and put options with the same strike K and maturity T, we have the following relationship between the call price and the put price by the call put parity. This comes from non-arbitrage condition and from the fact that both sides are equal to ST minus K at maturity. So we see that the difference between the delta of a call option and a put option is equal to 1. With dividends, the relationship is slightly different as the dividend yield Q intervenes in the formula. The delta corresponds to the number of underlying assets to be purchased or sold in order to hedge the directional exposure of the option position. For example, for a call option, the trader will have to sell delta stocks. The residual is the delta hedged option. As a reminder, the price of an European call option is given by the following closed form formula under the Black Scholes model with dividends. And the formula for the delta is the following. With dividends, it is equal to the exponential of minus Q times capital T minus T times N of D1 with N the cumulative normal distribution function. To demonstrate it, we just have to calculate the delta as a derivative of the Black-Scholes price with respect to the stock price S, and it can be shown that the terms with the partial derivative of D1 and D2 cancel each other. I let you demonstrate it as an exercise. So you can remark that the delta is equal to the term by which the stock price is multiplied in the Black-Scholes formula. Beyond the maths, there is an interesting interpretation of the delta in the Black-Scholes model. Without dividends, we have the following closed form solution for the price of a call option. N of D1 is a delta, while N of D2 is a probability of exercise of the option. It is the probability that the stock price is above the strike price when the option expires. D1 is close, but it is not equal to D2. It is higher than D2 actually. The difference between the two is equal to the product of the volatility, sigma, and the square root of the time to maturity. So n of d1, and so the delta, is higher than the probability that the option will be exercised. In addition to the probability of being exercised, the delta incorporates by how far the option can be in the money. And the difference between the two increases with sigma or time to maturity. Let's finish with some simulations. We consider an European call option with a strike price equal to 100. We see that the delta of a call option goes from 0 when the option is strongly out of the money to plus 1 when it is deep in the money. The sensitivity of the delta to a change of the underlying asset is measured by the gamma. When the time to maturity increases, an out-of-the-money option has more chances to be exercised and its delta increases, while when the time to maturity decreases and turns to zero, the delta as a function of the stock price turns to a digital function equal to zero below the strike price and plus one above. 
the change of the delta with time is measured by the second order Greek charm. Thank you for your time.